Then, uh, final topic for today from me is a surprise, surprise, uh, maybe, oh, I didn't say sorry, first of all, if you wanted to join my uh, stream last week, uh, I was busy last week on Saturday, I was working late, because I was working on a new content type, and so maybe that is a good excuse to show you um, the new content type, and you will be like um, the fourth, fifth, second, uh, sixth person to see it, um, because I have if you now pick the symbols that was funded by or co-funded by this by a school in Switzerland in in Bubendorf, and um, they did it again, so um, it's like co-funding because they didn't have enough money to fund the whole content type. Um, yeah, but uh, sometimes I'm pretty generous and uh, yeah, donate my own time. And here it is. Um, you can maybe you spotted that already. It's up here. It's called highlight the words. So let's have a look at it. Um, this is highlight the words, and uh, the idea is that you have a text, and as an author in the text you can define, or maybe we can have a look at the, the view first. So, um, if I was a student and opened that content, I would see, okay, my instructions, mark all the nouns in blue and all the verbs in yellow. Hmm, so how can we do that? We can click on the words and nothing happens. Uh, but we can actually we can obviously we can choose some colors up here. So let's start with blue maybe um, Yeah, and just see how we can do this. So maybe we can just select the words. Let's say okay There's whole and I select it and it turns blue and it works. Hmm. Okay interesting So what happens if I? Double click it it turns blue. That is great. Hmm um um, let's see what else could I do. Uh, let's say we, we need some verbs. Yellow. I click on yellow and let's see if that works again. And it works again. So um, we can mark it. <laughs> we can mark the verbs with it. And of course, um, if I made a mistake, I could erase it. And I could, you will now see, I'll, I'll, you could even erase it partially. So um, you could not only mark single words, but you could um, mark single characters if you want to, you could mark like a whole sentence if you want to, let's mark everything in blue maybe, so um, so you could use it for, um, uh, what's it called, sub-clauses, no that's from law, or is it called sub-clauses, subordinate clauses is the right term, um, you could, for example, um, well let's erase that maybe, so uh, let's get, let's say one more right and uh, let's say, we let's make one mistake deliberately, and uh, we can click on check and uh, of course we'll get the results so we can see if okay, that was correct that was correct that was wrong and in total we'll get one point out of 16. oh dear yeah oh dear that was bad and uh, of course we can have a look at the solution as well so um so now on the left we can see what what i did as a student and on the right hand side you would see okay that was expected so this should have been marked um we could reset it and um, yeah, but that's not all yet. So, um, well, of course, we have full screen mode, um, which doesn't make too much sense on a desktop, but um, on mobile devices, it, it gives a really nice um, look. I'm just forced if I say nice look because I, I copied the look from Interactive Book, maybe notice that. And why did I do that? Hmm, because um, of course I have the instructions, but. Um, it could, of course it would be nice to know what what is blue what is yellow and especially if I'm on a mobile device um, on a desktop I could of course let like have a uh, it, uh, I could have a tooltip but on a mobile device I wouldn't see that so the workaround it's it seems like a workaround is to use the the menu here so I can click on the menu and I can see the color legend so I know um, blues nouns and yellow is verbs and um, um, it feels kind of a workaround, but of course I have um, some more things in mind. So, for example, if I wanted to have like um, an exercise where I have to spot mistakes and I have to correct them, so um, then maybe I would uh, choose red, and I, uh, you could define the colors that you want to, of course. So let's say we, we want to have red, red for mistakes, and say, let's say ground was was uh, written wrong. So I could, for example, mark the word and then here have uh, a text field where we would have to enter the correct solution. That is not implemented in here. Uh, I guess someone will have to fund that or I'll have to find some more time. But that was work as well. And you can even think about 
with more strings. It could be like um, adding comments. So it, it could just be, could become a content type where you um, highlight the words of the student, but don't answer questions or don't have to find the uh, correct ones. But you can just create annotations for yourself and save them and have a look at them later, for example. Yeah, so um, this is close to done. It has one bug that I found this morning, but it's not a huge thing I have to fix. And I have to um, um, create the things that are missing below the surface. So it's not featuring X API yet, so you wouldn't get the results as a teacher. I have to add that. And it doesn't save the content state, but that's just a minor thing. I have to add that. And um, then it can be released. Um, the one thing that is a little tricky is accessibility here. Um, I would have preferred a different solution where you could just um, like like and mark the words where you, where every word would be like uh, a thing you could have so you could select and would would work pretty well with screen readers. But um, one of the the requirements really is to be able to just mark parts of the word or um, that that would work would be pretty tricky to do with if you if you like tap to every character and mark it or don't mark it that wouldn't work and um, also the other way around if you just don't want to mark just one word but maybe a whole part of a sentence you would have to mark every word um, so um, that that is why this um, selection mode was chosen and um, um, yeah. I am. I tried to find find out how accessible that is, but um, I don't think people with uh, visual disabilities will be able to work that. Uh, I might add like um, an alternate input version if I find some time, um, which would would be this. Um, uh, l let's say if you really just need words, so why not use the mark the words way it's done? So that would be accessible, but um, currently it isn't. That is the downside. Um, yeah, but I hope you um, you like that. Um, again, you'll have to wait a little. It might be out next week already. I'm not completely sure. But um, yeah, I guess you will have some ideas what you can do with that content type. And of course, it will be free. <laughs>